This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus, and it's been a while since I've done a uh, um, commentary about life, but I guess I've you know, been sort of classifying them under the drunk old man rants whenever I've done a couple of them. Um, but I felt like I needed to go back to the old theme for this one. Um, simply because it's more personal. Um, it's very, very personal, in fact. And I just want to um, share my thoughts. Because I've been having a rough time, especially this entire week. Actually, the last few months. Um, with the whole medical scare and all the things, the readjustments, the changes... I've just been going through a really weird cycle where I'm just trying to get myself um, situated mentally and financially and physically and it's been more of a strain than I've let on. Um, I've tried to kind of, you know, find other ways to kind of um, help me get through this, but it's been hard because... You know, just to dive right into it, I have friends who have been going through some things, and, you know, I'm always the person who wants to try to help as much as I can, but on some occasions, these friends have been kind of brutal towards me, and um, I don't mind it, because I, and it's weird for me to say that I don't mind it, because... I remember how it was, or how it is, I should say, to be that person that no one wants to listen to, um, no one wants to hear out, like when they're crying for help, um, when they're trying to find someone to that they can kind of, you know, we all need that person that we can come to and talk to, um, that we feel comfortable with talking to that would take what we say and not judge and not make us feel, um, you know, bad about it. Like, not make us feel like there's something wrong with us. Um, because I suffer from depression. I've been suffering from depression for a long time. And self-esteem issues have always been my problem since I could remember. Um, I remember growing up, like, just things, and I touched on this a bit in a previous video. I believe it was the one about finding a black nerd to date. Um, that's kind of part of the part of it because it's me seeking someone who I can relate to the most. Most people that I talk to, you know, they're my friends. I love them to death, but they just—I just don't feel like they get me. Or worse, I don't think. A lot of people care to get me. Um, and, you know, those who I feel like do care to get me, they're not available because they have their own things to deal with. So it's like I'm stuck in a place where I feel like it's just me. And I hate to make them feel like they're stuck in a place that it's just them. But at the same time, sometimes they could be very brutal. And, again, going back to my whole... I understand and let them do that. It's because, um, sorry, I should have muted my phone, but I, I, I just feel like maybe that's part of what they need. Like, especially a couple of particular people who I know they feel like life beats the hell out of them. And I guess I like offer myself up as a punching bag, even though I shouldn't. Um, it's, it's a very fucked up, weird mentality to have, I know, but I never had anybody, to at least to me, that I could seriously just go to and, you know, just let it all out and that they would understand and they would be encouraging and, I mean, I won't say that because I've had people who've been very, very encouraging in my life, but I have kept a lot of stuff in that they don't know. That I'm scared to let them know because I feel like that'll scare them away. And the few people that I've tried to let know certain things, they've responded in a way that made me feel worse. 
if you feel like, yeah, it must be me just being stupid or that I'm being silly or that my problems are trivial or that the things that I'm into are retarded and dumb and, you know, I've had people say that to me <laughs> before and it's just like, it makes you not want to confide in anybody and it makes it hard because I would like to have that. Um, but I don't and it really, really bothers me. At the same time, I'm sitting here trying to fight for other people and some of these people, it's just like, I don't think they even care. Um, and I hate that feeling because I feel worthless. And that's the, that's the thing that bothers me the most about myself. Is like, there are times where I feel extremely worthless because it's like, I can't solve my problems on my own. I can't get anybody to try to help me um, make it through my problems or at least, you know, give me a moment to talk it out um, and feel like, you know, it matters to just someone other than me. Um, And I just feel like I can't seem to help other people feel like they matter. I just feel... I don't know. There's a lot of times where I just feel very, very worthless, and I hate that feeling. And I know there's a lot of you out there who feel that way. Um, my advice to you, my advice to everybody that I know that feels that way is just try to remember that you have value. Um, I know it's hard because, you know, I try to reinforce myself with this every day. You are a good person, and you are something special there's something out there that's waiting for you to validate that it may not be coming soon but it's coming and you just gotta try to keep faith in that um i think that's why i haven't gone completely nuts like i think i'm nuts but i haven't gone completely nuts because i just feel like there is that moment that moment is waiting for me um and you know there's other things in life that you can find enjoyment and beauty and um, I think that's one reason why I dive head first so much into trying to make people feel good because that's a moment of beauty in life when you can help someone feel good about themselves to me that's precious um, because again like I said I don't know that I, have, I really don't know that feeling often often in my life at least I feel like I don't um, I may be shortchanging myself and I'm probably Seriously, I'm shortchanging myself, but we have certain like depression, self-esteem issues. It's hard to accept certain things, um, and I've been working on it. And I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still a work in progress, even at 41. But you know, it's just it can be hard. And you know, today I had a, like a very bad day where I just totally felt like I was just worthless, and that's why I wanted to talk this out because. That's what sometimes you just need, just to talk it out. I mean, mind you, none of you guys have to care. None of you guys are, you know, are expected to buy me. Um, yeah, I know that sounds weird and that sounds fucked up, but, you know, this is YouTube. This is supposed to be entertainment medium for most, and I hate to bring things down, but at the same time, you know, reality is, you know, people may not care to hear things like this. This is not going to be the most, like, viewer-friendly video to hear. But, hell, YouTube probably ding it for inappropriate com content and cut any ad revenue because they've been doing that a lot lately. But it is what it is. I just needed to share my thoughts um, just to get it out in the open because it's been a rough day for me. But... Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this commentary out. So, as always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll hold you later. This your boy, Black Megas, and I'm out, y'all. Deuces.